Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are already rejoicing. I pray you are already glad in it. I'm so excited. I'm excited about this prayer series that we're in. We're into day number six. If you're just joining us, we are praying through the names of the Holy Spirit. That's right. We're praying through the names of the Holy Spirit. You know, we serve one God in three persons. We don't serve um, multiple gods or a polytheistic God. No, we serve one God, but he has three persons. He's God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. And as such, Jesus came into the world in the flesh. He's the word that became flesh and dwelt among us. He lived in a body. He served and he taught and he loved and he healed and he did miracles. Uh, he shared with us the kingdom of God and his principles. But one day Jesus prophesied and promised that he would die on a cross. And he in fact did that. And he prophesied and promised that he would be buried in a tomb. And he did that. He prophesied and promised that he would be raised from the dead. And he did that. And he's alive forevermore. But he also told us that when he leaves the earth, and he did, he ascended into heaven, that he would go to the father and pray that the father would send us some help that he would send us a friend, that he would send us a comforter and an advocate in the person of the Holy Spirit. And so now we as believers, we as the part of the body of Christ, we have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us, relating to us. And God wants us to be able to relate to the Holy Spirit. So he's revealed his name to us. He's revealed descriptors to us. So we know who he is and how to relate to him. And so today we're going to be praying from Acts chapter one and verse eight, the book of Acts chapter one and verse eight. And I'm going to read from the new King James version of God's word as we get to understand the Holy Spirit as the power of God. The Holy Spirit is the power of God. Listen to what Acts chapter one and verse eight says, but you will receive power, Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Amen. Jesus talking to the disciples told them, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Amen. We get to relate to God, the Holy Spirit, as the power of God. When you call upon the name of the Lord and I call upon the name of the Lord, we're saved by the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. And we have the power of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us that we might accomplish for God what he wants us to accomplish. And he wants us to be witnesses for him wherever we go, telling people about Jesus everywhere. So we want to pray for three things today. Number one, we want to pray and thank God for the availability of the power of the Holy Spirit. We want to Pray for the availability of the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Secondly, we also want to pray and ask God to help us access the power of the Holy Spirit. Even though it's available, we have to access that power. Then thirdly and finally, we want to pray and ask God to help us to activate the power of the Holy Spirit as witnesses for Jesus everywhere we go. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise your name. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, heavenly dove. Fill each and every one of us with your power and your presence and your person. Holy Spirit, we thank you for this time of prayer. We thank you for praying in the power and the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for allowing us to come boldly before your throne of grace to ask for what we need and to find grace and help in our time of need. Lord, we thank you for leading us in this prayer devotional through the names of the Holy Spirit. And Lord God, today we thank you for making the power of the Holy Spirit available to each and every one of us. Lord, I thank you that he is readily available. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I thank you that every saved person has the power of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of them and working through them to produce the fruit of the Spirit. We thank you for making your power available to us. 
Jesus, you told us that if we abide in you and your words abide in us, we can ask what we will and it will be done for us. You said for herein is our father glorified that we bear much fruit. Lord, we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit being available that allows us to bear fruit for God that others would glorify our father in heaven. And Lord God, our prayer today is to thank you that not only is the power of the Holy Spirit available, but God, we pray that you would help us to access your power today. Holy Spirit, help us to relate to you in a way that honors you. Help us to relate to you in a way that we can access your power, that we can tap into your unlimited power, Lord, that we can tap into your divine power in our lives. Lord, when we are weak and you are strong, Lord, we need your power to accomplish what you intend for us to accomplish in this life. So help us to access your power, Lord, by relating to you. Help us to not quench you in our lives, Lord. Help us to not cause you to be grieved, Lord. But let us do what honors you, what draws you even closer to us. Fill us even now with your presence and your power. And Lord, we pray that we would be able to activate the power of the Holy Spirit that Holy Spirit, we would see you operating in our life and through our lives, that wherever we go, Lord God, that we would be witnesses for Jesus. Lord, in our homes, that we would be witnesses for you, that amongst our closest friends, we would tell them what you mean to us. Amongst our associates and neighbors and friend sets, Lord, and our fellowship, Lord, that you would be a priority for us to talk about and give glory and honor to, Lord even as we go on our jobs and in our schools and on campuses and in organizations, Lord, let us not be afraid of what people might think or say about us, but Lord, let us be witnesses for you, telling others how much you love them, telling others how loving you are and gracious you are and merciful you are, God. Help us to be witnesses for you, Lord, even in enemy territory, even in hostile situations, Lord, let us not be ashamed of the gospel, knowing it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So, Lord God, give us the power and the courage and give us the insight and the wisdom. Bring back to our remembrance things that you've given to us to say in the situation that would make another person want to know what must they do to be saved. And then give us the words to share that help them to know that if they call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. So we thank you, Lord, for activating your power. We thank you for access to your power. And we thank you for making the power of the Holy Spirit available to us, even right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number six, and we prayed about the Holy Spirit as our power source. That's right. He's our power source. Jesus said in Acts chapter one, verse eight, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. I want you to go in the power of the Holy Spirit today. Let him use you today. Activate the power of the Holy Spirit and be a witness for Jesus everywhere you go. I'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless you.